Nice. Pete's Byzantine uh, iPad <laughs> set up. I found him lurking in there. Lovely old job. Just waiting for his divorce to come through. <laughs> All right, then. Let's have some emails with Jimmy C. All right, then. Dear Ramblers, been meaning to email for some time about a local Herefordshire amateur football legend. That legend is the one and only Maltese Joe. How the referee <laughs> from Malta found himself in the Herefordian countryside remains a mystery, but everyone you ask who's played football in the, con- in the county has heard a story regarding his unique refereeing style. The funniest I've heard on the grapevine is that on one Sunday morning, he pulled a hamstring. Instead of passing the referee baton to someone else, he instead ref the game from the sidelines. Indeed, he continued to ref the game from the sidelines, but from firmly within the confines of his car, <laughs> that he wasn't amazing. going to sit around and get cold. I've, I've Pick the horn instead of the whistle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, it doesn't make clear whether he was driving around the touchline or not. Yeah, uh, presumably, I, does he have an open top yeah, car? I, who knows? Let's get in touch. Um, so I've heard a million <laughs> stories about the refereeing legend that is Maltese Joe, but I can only remember a couple. So I implore any Herefordian listeners to come forward with more Maltese gold. Regards, Dan Roberts. I completely agree with you there, Dan. That is yeah. a great shout. If you are aware of Maltese Joe, uh, please do fill us in. Uh, next Ramble in Meets. Shout at the football ramble.com. Yeah, <laughs> Ramble Meets. Maltese Joe. I don't have you in his car. Don't Refereed from his car. Yeah, Love brilliant. That. Brilliant. Right, so... Uh, Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so let's Good go man. over to uh, let's go over to Twitter where we had some uh, some stories uh, about Maltese Joe. Jamie Allen said head injury during a game. Manager runs on. Joe goes, "What are you doing, manager? Ref, has been knocked out. Joe, no blood. Play on." <laughs> <laughs> that is a catastrophic dereliction of duty Usually. by a man whose first job is to protect the safety of the players. <laughs> Maltese Joe is a living legend. Remind yeah. me where, where, where he operates? Herefordshire, I believe. Yes, it is. He's a referee that came to our attention yeah, yeah, yeah. on the email section on Monday, which Jim found out, uh, yeah. found uh, uh, operating in the sort of, I guess, the Sunday leagues of, yeah, that's right, of yeah, that's Herefordshire. Right. Yeah. So there are a lot of stories about him and the, the, the range of them is what's so impressive. Um, so <laughs> ben, ben Payne explains, this is, it sounds like a game being snowed off. Uh, when the Meadows were a foot under, came in the changing room, he said it was playable, took the money, then snuck out the back door and drove home. Good lad. <laughs> Good lad. Dean... Oh, I'll tell you, Maltese Joe has no problem getting yeah, the game. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Dean Corbett continues at semi-final. The ball crosses our line by a good three feet. Maltese Joe shouts, shut up, idiots, play on. <laughs> idiots. Hero, we hung on for a 1-0 win. <laughs> okay, so here's this is off Twitter now. We've got some emails. Hi, Ramblers. Just listening to your latest ramble and was delighted to hear you mention the Herefordshire legend that is Maltese Joe. I witnessed him walking off the pitch with the ball after about 60 minutes once uh, the team were winning comfortably. The ball rolled to him. He controlled it, then picked it up, said to the players, you are taking the piss, and walked off into the dressing room. <laughs> room the stunned players didn't know what to do but a few moments later saw him leave the dressing room kit bag over his shoulder ball under his arm before he drove off with the money yeah <laughs> another story is of him selling a goalkeeper shirt to a team as it clashed with his black referee shirt oh. there are so many stories one that i've seen in person having been a referee in the county for a few years at one referees meeting we were discussing a rule change for the season which maltese joe disagreed with he proceeded to pull out a rule book then proclaimed that according to this book he was correct the book was from 1973. <laughs> What's your problem? Yeah. Sheffield rules. Yeah. It, Sheffield works, rules. I, I am very happy that this legend of the game is finally getting recognition. Uh, that's from Tom Jones. It's presumably not that one. Um, so another couple. It goes on. Um, hi, guys. Joe once stopped a game midway through the second half to chat up a young lady at the side of the pitch. One game, there was a case of mistaken identity as he booked me for a foul. The player involved informed him he had booked the wrong player. He proceeded to then book that player. I asked if yeah. he had scratched my name off. However, he said no. As he booked both, then he could be certain he was right. <laughs> I was surprised. Look at all, Joe. Yeah, your best. I was. There's that, a bit of a twist here. I was surprised to hear his name crop up. As he's so old, I thought he was dead. Oh, uh, that's come from on. Dan Davis in Gloucester. Um, but finally, we got Nathan Gisby, <laughs> who's been in charge of say Gisbo. A high ramble. I have got a story about Maltese Joe from this from this last weekend. Oh. While refing Ledbury Town, he went a whole match without a single booking despite two clear fouls followed by a fight between a striker <laughs> and one of the opposing defenders. <laughs> At the age of 78, he is maybe struggling with the demands of amateur football considering he couldn't hear the shouts for substitution and when swarmed by the players about it, he just shouted, what the bloody hell is going on? <laughs> I guess it took its toll on him as he ended the match 10 minutes early. Again, seems to Get be a Get yourself home, so, Joe. When I read that one, I, I thought, is this one made up? Surely he's not 78 years old, but a few of them reference his age. So maybe it's a typo. Well, can, maybe surely not that old. Maybe it's an exaggeration, but apparently he's he's knocking on. I can't confirm or deny that, but I can tell you that my great-uncle Sandy was at one point the oldest referee working in Scotland. Oh, really? wow. And I think he was... At 34. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, he's 40s now. Uh, I, think he, I think he was in his 80s. 
I wow. dread to think how good a referee he was. <laughs> um, <laughs> and before I end the email section with a big fan Crazy of that. day. Crazy love day. Love that. I do love that. So let's get to the main event. Straight to it. Uh, dear Ramblers, since my first email last Monday about a man known fondly to the Herefordshire footballing community as Maltese Joe, I have received many more tales from down the years, including an update about him officiating a game from the confines of his own car. Regarding that one, I have been told that he tried to claim petrol money from the Herefordshire FA because he had the car running whilst he <laughs> officiated. So this, this, this story just keeps on giving, doesn't it? The man is a football Puritan, and my dream is for him to one day create the greatest officiating double act to have ever graced the, the footballing world with Mike Dean. Um, agree. I am um, again from Dan Roberts. Jim, I saw a picture of Maltese Joe. Uh, Did you really? Over the weekend, yeah. And uh, he looks, I mean, he looks exactly as you'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah, he, he sort of. Slick back hair? Not really, no. Sort of greying hair. Uh, In his early days, it would have been. Bit of pot belly on yeah, there yeah, involved, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stern looking. Yeah. Absolutely. Not bothered. <laughs> in, yeah. in his, sat in his car. Yeah. <laughs> he was He was actually on the pitch in the picture I saw. Stealing from players. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hi, chaps. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard you mention legendary Herefordshire referee, Maltese Joe, etc., etc. Then when looking on the Hereford, uh, Hereford FC forum, I saw a thread about it on there with a few people mentioning stories they'd heard about him. I thought you might like this one. We were losing 7-0 with 20 minutes to go. They were second in the league and needed a, needed goal difference. Joe blew up to say, that's it, let's all go home. He rushed into the clubhouse to watch the Grand National, leaving their team out on the pitch furious. That is from Tristan Edwards and posted by Tractor Boy uh, originally. Um, <laughs> I wonder if he had a winner in the Grand National. Yeah, so two more. But two more. Hi, Ramblers. I hope you can sift through the hundred or more emails I'm sure you got over the weekend about Maltese, Maltese Joe. I currently live in Australia, but I'm but born and bred Herefordian. My grandfather has been refereeing in Herefordshire for the past 54 years. He's retired dozens of times, but like Maltese Joe, is still refereeing at the age of 77. I FaceTimed him the other night to let him know Joe had made it onto the ramble. I asked for any stories he had, but they were all mostly along the same lines as the others. Him refereeing from his car, up and down the line when it's too cold, or him leaving halfway through if he's bored with the game. But... <laughs> It's not up to yeah. him. But he did follow this with saying that they were once at a county referee's dinner and Joe came over and tried to chat at my nan. My nan chimed into the conversation saying he was quite persistent, to which my granddad concluded, see, he must be crazy. Let's just say he'll have to make his own tea for the next week. Oh Keep up the good work, Sophie Barnett. Uh, it's a good job Maltese Joe hasn't refereed any Man United games, isn't it? Because he'd be off at half time then as well. Mm. Dig. Hello. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, I may not have been refereed by Maltese Joe's from Nathan Watts, but instead... Uh, by Mario, a local, uh, notorious local ref in South Wales. The legend has it that he was a Maltese international in his younger days. He couldn't speak a word of English and would brandish a yellow card if anyone except the captain even tried to open their mouth at him. Not the rules, is it? Um, <laughs> it may not be as exciting as, as his compatriots' tales, but it makes me think there are more of these kinds of referees out there. Well, so I guess we're sort I love of, that. I thought yeah. you called that right referee. Yellow yeah, card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, the Molten connection. The most the ridiculous Maltese moment connection. I had when I was being refereed by a game, this was in the... Uh, do you know it was in this thing? It was like it was called the, the Church of England, like cup or whatever. It's like the sort of FA Cup for for churches around the land. And uh, we played, what round were you in? Oh, uh, very early, right? Okay. Very early. We went out. We went out to extra preliminary round, probably. Okay, right. That, that kind of thing. Apparently, yeah, is it eleven aside? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Apparently, a uh, mate of mine said he played in a team once. Uh, I mean, this years ago. A mate of mine, he's a bit older, and uh, they were taken apart by this guy up front who scored a hat trick, and they realised it was Garth Crooks. Oh, oh wow. nice. Post the playing days, but uh, yeah, there, there was a bit of a the, that. The referee was getting very, very wound up by the the opposition to the point. Of, I mean, we hammered them. I think we won like. 13 2 or something like that, and uh, and they were getting round up, it was pissing down with rain. And the and the referee was so fed up with their players that he tackled one of their players. Oh, wow, right? no, no, it gets better. He tackled one of their players and then just and then just like passed it back to our goalkeeper. This was like right at the end of the game, there's probably just a few minutes left. And we were all stood there thinking, What, what do we? And they were a bit like, What? And he was just like getting really, really angry with them, so that's what he did anyway. He passed it back to our goalkeeper, and then as he was walking off, our goalkeeper cleared the ball and smacked it off the back of the referee's head, right? right. <laughs> to which the opposition obviously like fell about laughing, as if to say, up yours. Yeah, yeah. To which he then grabbed the ball, walked over to one of their players, threw the ball down, and went, were you born an effing dickhead to the bloke? And then that was the end of the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. What yeah. an amateurish performance. Yeah. We had to pull the referee off the, uh, off the opposition. I, I, I remember, remember Richie we went to um, uni with. Yeah, of course. Yeah. His, old, his old man was a decent player. And then when he retired, he wanted to become a referee. And apparently the first game of the season as a ref, he blew for the kickoff. Mm. Ball went back, came up in the air. And, and Richie's dad completely forgot where he was. Just jumped up and gave it a big head up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, oh yeah sorry about that he had to give a, to give a drop ball 
Have you forgot? <laughs> That's glorious. There that. you go. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Oh, well, let's go. To- <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say anything. I just carried on walking off. Yeah. So that was probably the stupidest one. You know, baby. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, right. Well, now, uh, obviously, this is the email section, but mm-hmm. um, we know what you want, and we're all going to go straight to the main event. Special thank you to Maltese Joe. And uh, Maltese Joe in pensive mood. It's Maltese Joe. It's absolutely not. Thank you very much, Maltese Joe. You can't afford to make mistakes like that against uh, Maltese Joe. <laughs> Hang about. <laughs> mm. We've got a Maltese Joe jingle. We Hang do. Up. That's been sent in by Alex and boys. The plot thickens. <laughs> So this is from Alex. Hi, guys. After hearing about the exploits of Maltese Joe, the referee, I decided to Google him and see what came up. The first result was a YouTube video of the first frame of the final of the Shoot Pool London Championships 1985, which a player called Maltese Joe Barbara wins. After the commentators relayed information about a dispute before the match between Maltese Joe and his opponent regarding which player would sit in the right-hand chair, both players wanted it because in every round before the final, the winner had sat in it, um, Maltese Joe lost the dispute. Doing further <laughs> digging, uh, digging, it seems Maltese Joe <laughs> (laughs) (laughs) even had a game named after him Maltese Joe's Pool Challenge for the ZX Spectrum he's provided evidence of this in form of a YouTube video as well that's amazing and an appearance on Scylla Black's Surprise Surprise in 1988 so that's her in the jingle I thought that was Scylla the second result was a report from a legal news website in 1995 stating former pool champion Maltese Joe was jailed for four and a half years today after he was caught trying to sell 1.5 million of banknotes to an undercover cop so, yeah, my question is, can you verify whether this is the Maltese Joe, the referee, or just a pretender? And perhaps the bigger question, if this is the real Maltese Joe, when he didn't get to sit in the chair he wanted at the pool final, why didn't he just bring his car into the theatre and yeah. sit in that? Uh, and that's from Alex. So, I mean, obviously, Gordon we Bennett. don't know what Maltese Joe looks like. So we'll have to put um, put this over to the um, Herefordshire amateur football community yeah. to, um, to, to, to see if they can identify him from the clips that have been sent in. We'll make them available on our social channels. Um, um, I, I've seen a picture of Maltese Joe that someone tweeted and I've seen um, that video of him playing the pool and, and for legal reasons I'm not going to say whether I think they're the same person or not. Uh-huh. So <laughs> it's up to other people to yeah, tell so us. Well, we're gonna have there, to get, there's a um, chance though that he could have gone from Paul into refereeing yeah. but if you've got any information about Maltese Joe it's uh, show at the football yeah absolutely com. show at the football ramble.com so we're going to put the ramble gum shoes onto that so those of you <laughs> um, who can identify him do let us know. Oh my goodness. My goodness. What a turn.